Hi, welcome to Rhinoceros Tutorials. We are going to draw an Eternity Ring with Rhinoceros 4. First of all, we are going to use a quarter carat diamond. Its diameter is 4.1 mm. Here are diamond. Let's measure it. You see that. It's 4.1 mm. Select the gemstone and hide it. Open the front view. Open the snap button and take a point. We are going to mark the center of the work plane. Here is the center of the work plane. We can put the point to the here. Now we can close the snap. Take a circle. Select the point and now Drop about 70 mm diameter circle. Yes. Select the circle. Offset it about 4 mm. Select the circle and offset it about 4 mm. Now Hold the gemstone, put the gemstone to the here, and then hide the gemstone again, put a point to the quarter of the second circle, and now we can delete this. Open for me menu, select circle, and draw it from here. 4.1 mm circle. You can see that this diameter is equal to the diamond's diameter. Select the circle and click offset and offset it about 1.2 mm. Now we can delete the first circle. Our prompt will start from inner circle. Select the circle and write about 1.3 mm. Open center button and click point and put a point to the center of the, the circle. Now we can close this center button. Select this circle and point and click rotate. The center of the rotation will be the center of the work plane. It's about 45 degrees rotated. Open the perspective view. Select line and click this point to do this point. Now, select this line. Open surface menu. Select the one layer with the circle. You see that it's a surface now. Open Solid Tools menu, click the surface and then cap planar holes. Now it's a polar surface. Now one prong is ready, but we need at least four prongs. Select this prong, open the top view, and click Polar Array. The center of the Polar Array will be this point. Number of items will be four. Yes, here are four prongs. And now we are going to do the support part. Open the front view, select the circle, click offset, and offset it about 1.7 millimeters. And now we can select the prongs and hide it. We can delete these lines. Select the circle, show the prongs, but select the gemstone, select the circle, select the quarter of the upper circle, and then open top view. We can click shift to make ortho button or ortho operation. Click about 
the circle let's look about it yes it's nice select the circle and click pipe it for, uh, it's going to its diameter will be 0.8 millimeters show the gemstone yes it's very nice and then we can delete the circle select the circle open for view and extrude it when you extruding please be careful select both sides yes and cap button yes yes select the all things except this one the cylinder and click boolean difference from the box click four views open the front view and then select these parts open transform menu and select polar array this polar array in the center of the polar array will be the center of the work plane at here and the number of the items will be 16 yes it's very nice but it didn't finish select the circle click offset it and offset it about 1.75 millimeters select two lines together open for view for view extrude or you can delete this select extrude select cap and then write about here one it will be extrude about two millimeters select all lines and then select all points Yes, here are alternative ring finished.